whoever you are, whoever you are, high or low, rich or poor, you will receive the same scrutiny and the same protection, the same protection in the UK. And that is the first and most crucial freedom and the precondition for economic growth and investment. Freedom under the law, freedom to live your life as you choose within the law, provided you do no harm to others. And the next great freedom, an indispensable freedom, is the right to choose those who govern you and the right to remove them from office. Hello, good, good, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on the time you are watching this video. And um, I really want to thank those who stopped by to watch our videos and uh, subscribe and also recommend us. Uh, thank you very much. And if you're just, you know, coming into the channel, I will encourage you to um, share our videos, subscribe and click the notification button. Now, back to, um, uh, to what I have for you guys today. Bro Johnson was in Lagos some, some days ago and he talks about um, uh, freedom. And talking about freedom, he, he also made mention of an incident that happened while he was in office as a Prime Minister of UK. And he was arrested for eating on his office desk for 20 minutes. You can imagine. And then he talks about uh, Prince James being arrested, you know, for loitering about. He was trying to drive a force that when the law is in place and people follow the rules of the land, it doesn't matter who you are in the society, you get arrested or you get punished. Then he talks about the, 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 the overall uh, form of freedom, which is democracy. And he said in democracy, people are allowed to choose who they want uh, to lead them. And people have the right to send leaders back in. And that statement has been causing some little bit of reaction on social media. Some people are like, uh -uh, Nigeria Africans, you have a long way to go because um, somebody who was kicked out of office uh, because of a lot of scandals and all of that is here having moral justification. Okay, now, watch this video. Uh, what he said, then I'll come back to um, give you a little bit of... Uh, Analyze, analysis about what he just said and the misunderstanding from people. But we in the UK have certainly had our own problems with terrorists in the past. And I'm proud to say now that London is one of the safest big cities in the world. Indeed, the Metropolitan Police are so impartial that they once arrested Prince Andrew himself, <laughs> the son of our late Queen, when they saw him loitering in the shrubbery of of Buckingham Palace. In what, in what you, you laugh, in what later turned out to be a case of mistaken identity. I, th I thought this was quite funny until a couple of years ago, the Met actually fined me in circumstances that I still find almost too painful to describe, sim simply for standing at my desk in the cabinet room and eating lunch. And for followers of British politics, I want you to know that the fabled birthday cake about which the BBC and the rest of the media fulminated for well over a year, remained unseen by me throughout that 20 minutes <laughs> in its Tupperware box, later to be discovered and consumed by my private secretaries. And look, you know, whatever you may say about that unhappy episode, look on the bright side. Can you imagine the Moscow police arresting Vladimir Putin? for having lunch at his, his desk for 20 minutes. Can you imagine the Chinese police doing the same thing, yes? Can, doing the same thing to Xi Jinping? Whatever else it shows, that decision, which may have seemed to me to be bizarre, it shows to me that the law is enforced in my country without fear and without favor. And whoever you are, Whoever you are, high or low, rich or poor, you will receive the same scrutiny and the same protection, the same protection in the UK. And that is the first and most crucial freedom and the precondition for economic growth and investment. Freedom under the law, freedom to live your life as you choose within the law, provided you do no harm to others. And the next great freedom, an indispensable freedom, is the right to choose those who govern you and the right to remove them from office. 
It's called democracy. And it's very precious. And it works. And it's under attack the whole time. Concerning uh, freedom and also democracy as one of the high level of freedom where people choose who they want and also can vote you out if you're not performing. Now, some people saying that uh, you don't have the moral uh, uh, rights to speak to Nigerian politicians and all of that. When something is bad, it is bad. Boro Johnson did the wrong thing. He was arrested. He started from there and then coming to democracy because he didn't perform well. He had a lot of scandal. He was what? Kicked out of the office, right? That is it. So he has all the moral right to speak to our politicians and Nigerian governments and Nigerians in particular because we we we, we feel like uh, uh, when something is bad, we, we we don't resign in this part of the country. We don't resign in this part of the world. We don't even think of leaving the office. You know, we always look for a way to cover things up. Like for example. You have a presidential candidate who is allegedly, you know, um, you know, involved with uh, drug, uh, uh, drug related issues, uh, but he, 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 he just, he, he, he never, he never come out to declare, I mean, deny the whole thing. And he only said, no, it's fake. And that is all. You know, but there are so many evidences that people are seeing on online and you know going down to this to the to, to United States to find out those informations and all of that. The evidence are there, but still he can also look okay because of this I'm a man of honor, I respect my country and constitution, I'm no longer contesting for election. It's not like that. We have so many of them, so many issues, so many allegations, but still they are in office. That is the reason why they have all moral rights to speak to us. Let me have your take and um, at the comment section. Until next time, thank you.